Hi, this is Greg Schultz from Storage.io. I'm here at VMworld 2014 and walking around the expo floor, you know, one of the new things, I guess you call them the new kids on the block, is Docker. Some of you have heard about it, some of you are not first off. Docker is not a pair of jeans, it's not a blue jean jacket. So hey, Docker folks, don't get upset about that. But what Docker is, is technology for implementing, deploying data and information infrastructure. And here I'm at the Docker booth with Nathan. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Nathan, real quickly, introduce yourself, who you are, and what you do. Hey, uh, I'm Nathan LeClaire. Uh, I'm a solutions engineer at Docker Inc. So, um, what I do is basically help people leverage uh, Docker to increase their business success and increase their business value. Okay, so real quickly, Nathan, you know, I don't want to do this as Docker for dummies, but I think it's going to kind of be that. Not that everybody is dummies, but what's the most common question you're being asked here at VMworld, the land of the hypervisor and the virtual bacon and everything else? What's the most common question about Docker? Uh, I think people are mostly just curious about uh, what it is, so they don't really know what it is. They haven't heard of it before, so people are just asking what it is. So um, what Docker is, is it is a platform for building, shipping, and running applications. Um, so essentially, historically, it's been a really big problem to actually package up an application and all of its dependencies, um, especially lately, applications that are growing in complexity and the kind of stacks that they rely on and move it from place to place and ensure that it runs the same everywhere. So if I understand this, Nathan, Docker is more than a way of containerizing or hypervising. It's also a place for your applications to develop, to alleviate or abstract those dependencies on libraries and arts runtime libraries and things like that to help make the applications more portable. Well, yes and no. I mean, so, yes, make applications more portable, definitely. Um, you know, specifically, we kind of say it's a platform because we have the Docker engine, which is the piece that actually deals with the mechanics of containerizing the application and relying on the Linux kernel features to promote that kind of process isolation and resource control. And then we also have Docker Hub, which is our software as a service offering that lets you push and pull images, and it's just a really convenient way to actually store Dockerized applications and pull them down to wherever you need. And if you have a Docker engine there, you can run it. Great. So Nathan, tell me real quickly here. I know you're busy. You've got a lot of people. You've got a lot of activity um, here at uh, your ex at your booth here at VMworld. Give me three things that people need to know about Docker, about your organization, as well as what they should do to start learning more. Yeah, so three things. So, um, basically, I would say the very good first thing to do is just download it and kind of start playing around with it. If you're on Windows or Mac, uh, we have a tool called Boot to Docker that's really useful that you should check out. Uh, essentially, it lets you run on a better VM that has Linux. Uh, uh, that is a small little Linux that's only purpose in life is to run Docker. So uh, download it, bring to Docker, or just native Docker if you're on Linux already. Uh, it's a great way to just get used to it, and uh, that's a problem. And um, you know, so also, uh, if you go to hub.docker.com, that's our Docker Hub website, so that's a great place to sort of get into the community and explore a little bit. And then also join us on IRC and uh, Docker channel on Freenode. Uh, it's a great place to sort of ask around about questions and stuff and uh, really get into the swing of it. So there's a lot of great stuff out there. It can be almost overwhelming, actually, the amount of information that's available. So, you know, don't be intimidated. It's a lot of fun, I promise. And, you know, uh, it's, it's really fun. So that's a great tip. And to clarify, Docker is not just for the virtualization hypervisor folks, but the developer should also be aware. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. I definitely think that, you know, especially when it comes to moving applications around, Docker can provide a lot of niceness for the developer. Uh, you know, I've got a couple of applications that I have Dockerized that I wrote that uh, makes it really easy to manage compared to the way it was before. Real quickly, let's wrap up here. I know you got people to talk to. The website is what? So, docker.com is the main page, and the blog is docker.com. And your blog? 
the Dr. Vlog is vlog.com.com. And Twitter. Twitter is twitter.com. You make it really, really easy. Hey, Nathan, appreciate you taking some time out here at VMworld 2014. Again, Greg Schultz from Storage IO here at VMworld 2014. Check out Docker. Docker is in your future along with containers and other things. You can figure out how you can use them, not just in old ways, but also in new ways. Again, Greg Schultz from Storage IO here at VMworld 2014. Okay, enough said.